What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pen and Journal. This is Jet again, and today we are going to do something really crazy, something that I have not done before. And it is to remove a name engraving from a pen. So this is the Pilot Custom Heritage Nine One Two. I got this from an auction overseas. Uh, the pen came in a little bit cheaper because of the engraving on the pen. The pen body is wonderful, lovely finish. And now I'm going to try to take out this name engraving. Let's see how it goes. So the tools I'll be using will be a pen knife. I'll be using uh, my favorite trusty micro mesh with different grits. I have some, some sandpaper. This is, I believe, this is 600 grit or 700 grit. And then I have a, what do you call this, a thousand grit sandpaper here. And of course, I have water on standby to dip the sandpaper in. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the cap for the pen. Right, that's the first thing. And I'm going to just use the back of the blade of the pen knife and just go through the name. And let's see how it goes. I'm trying to do this on camera. I hope that I can establish something. So here it goes. As you can see, the paint or the white lettering is actually coming out so in some ways you're making some progress I'm not too sure I'm scratching the plastic a bit too badly okay it's not too bad but then I just feel that well in be time I go to the sandpaper so I'll be using the 600 or 700 grit sandpaper, dip it in water first, and then I'm just going to go for it. Focus, focus, focus. Okay. The key here is, I believe, the water. Right, you need to water down your sanding with the sandpaper. And I believe, if you're not too sure about the grid they're going to use, I believe, try to use um, a higher grid. A higher grid means, not a higher grid, or rather a higher number. A higher number in the grid paper. The higher the number, the smoother the sandpaper is or what you call the lesser the grit is. So as you can see, it seems to be working. Right, more water. And just applying pressure on the name area. This looks good, it's looking good. Try to rotate and tilt the pen cap from side to side so that you won't be when I sand down you won't be exactly flat in a sense it'll be a bit more rounded to keep the contour of the cap intact oh this last part is so difficult to remove Let's inspect the pen. Let's inspect the pen. So, as you can see, the sand mark is all over the pen. Gosh, right? But this is how it is expected. And now I'm going to go through it with a thousand grit sandpaper. Right, you need to progress um, slowly. For example, if you're using, let's say, a 700 grit sandpaper, uh, you need to increase the number slowly. 
so that it can buff out all the scratches in the cap itself. So in this case, I'm using a, what we call a thousand grit sandpaper and see how it goes. Let's take a look. Right, it's better now. Definitely better now. And I'll open up my micro mesh. I won't choose exactly. Let's see, what do I have here? Right, I have a 6000 grit on this. Okay, this is 6000 grit. Let's see how it goes with a 6000 grit. Hopefully, it's able to remove all the burrs and all the scratch marks on the pen. Let's see how it goes. If not, I need to maybe go down to 4000. Let me see about it. Let's try to cheat a little bit. If you can, remove the clip from the uh, what do you call it from the ball cap. I think that will be a much more easier task for you to actually polish the whole thing and I think I may actually do that. I may actually do that actually. Oh well let's try it to do it without removing without removing the clip. Okay, the lazy in me will just say ah you know just go for it and see how it goes. Okay, 6,000, moving on to 8,000 and then 12,000. And then finally, the 12,000. Let's see. Let's try a bit of that polishing compound and take a closer look at how it goes. So this is the one that I will be using. This is the Auto Soul Gold and Silver Polish. All right, I noticed that it's, it works very well on plastics as well, in polishing plastics as well. Not just for metal trimmings, but for plastics as well. And we're just going to apply a tiny amount and see how it goes. Right, so a tiny amount on the pan itself. Oh well, we also polish the metal as well, right? Since we're at it, and you can see amazingly, the, it works wonders on the metal parts of the pen. And might as well, let's do the Silver trims on a cap. <laughs> Changing up to a dry part of the, the red cloth. Just going to buff it out and see what do we get. So it's amazing as you can see. Wow. It is pretty amazing, but you can see the scratches is still pretty evident. So we may need to redo the sanding process again, right? I may need to have a slightly uh, grittier grit. So I will start from four thousand, right? I will start from four thousand. As you can see, there's quite a bit of a scratch mark here. So I'll start from 4,000, work myself up, 6,000, 8,000, 12,000, and then finish it off with this uh, rubbing compound and see how it goes. All right, so this is grit 4,000 micro mesh. All right, just going to go through the areas one more time. So if you can see visible scratch, scratch marks means that 
the grit is not uh, gritty enough to buff out or to smooth out the rough edges so you need to go to a, a lower grit or rather a lower grit number with a higher grit on the, on the micro mesh or sandpaper and then you have to work your way all the way up with a higher grit number with a lesser grit on the sandpaper There's definitely still some micro scratch. You can see very obviously there is still quite a bit of a scratch mark there. Apparently we need to take this out over here. So let's go back to the 4000 grid. I won't be changing the grid down lower to 3006. I don't think so. I'll do that. I believe a 4000 grid should be able to remove it. Right, this part portion here, where you found 4000 grit, should be able to remove it. We just need to get a better visual of it. So now you can see I'm not too sure you can see now it is just beautiful right just beautiful how only I can't see much of the scratches a little bit but pretty much it is gone the name is gone there's some areas I need to use a toothbrush a soft toothbrush to clean out the remains of the compounds, but we are pretty much done. Wash the entire cap, clean it out with the toothbrush, getting rid of all the remains of the rubbing compounds, right from all the little recesses and creases uh, in the engraving words and all that stuff. So it is quite clean. And let's look at the finished work of the sandpapering and you can see it is pretty good right it's pretty good I can't really see much I can see a few specks of uh, scratches but to me that is bearable and so there you have it success in removing the name engraving thank you all for watching God bless, take care, and see you guys in the next video.